Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're gonna to talk about visibility while working in a Google Doc. And the specific lens we're gonna be focusing on is what it looks like while for on a student's side while a teacher is in the process of grading a document. So let's get started. So we are going to start in a fake student account. So this is Robert Steele's account. He is a fake student in my American literature classroom. So he's currently missing this assignment and he's going to get his act together right now and complete it. When he opens up his document, he's going to see that I'm also in this document. So I'm perhaps possibly in the process of doing some grading. I'm going to see that he has just arrived as well. Right now we are equal partners on this document. Um, we both have equitable access to activity because the document is not yet submitted. So on my end, I might ask him in real time if he has any questions. And on your screen, you'll see that I've highlighted some text and I've left him a comment. And again, that appears immediately for the student. You'll also, I'd like you to take a minute to observe that one comment I have provided and two comments he has included himself as part of the assignment, all right? So now he's ready to turn in this document. What happens now is the um, partnership on this document changes. So there now becomes um, a power differential. The student, once the student has submitted a document, they now only have view only access to that document. The teacher becomes the temporary owner of the document. So again, this is the same document that we were just looking at. And those three comments that I pointed out to you are now no longer accessible, right? So comments are not accessible when somebody is in a view only designation. Okay. So now you're ready to grade this document as a teacher. The default editing mode in Google Classroom is the suggesting mode. And the suggesting mode is going to be your highest level of security. So in that mode, in the suggesting mode, students are not able to see your in-text feedback and they are also not able to see the comments you leave behind. As a sidebar, I will say that I am not a fan of using this mode from start to finish because every single um, every single mark you make creates a comment, and I find that that really clutters up the margin of a student's paper and is really hard for them to navigate. So I really try to do my best to think about the purpose of the comment and is what I'm about to say worthy of a comment. Good to know is that you can toggle between editing modes. You can be in editing where the student has access to what you're providing in real time, regardless of their viewing permissions. And for things that you just don't want them to have access to until you return the document, you can toggle to the suggesting mode. All right, so I wanna show you what this all looks like as the teacher, I'm on his document. And again, you can see as can he in real time that his teacher's on the document. And what he is not going to be able to see is that I am going to be leaving him some feedback. So after I have gone through and, and read his information, I am going to start to determine his grade. So I am going to start highlighting sections of the rubric. So again, regardless of the editing mode, he could watch you do some highlighting. I'm gonna use the highlighter tool, leave it in yellow and click away. So now on my screen, that first line is highlighted in yellow, but on the student's screen, it is not because again, I was using the suggesting mode, which does not give the student access to the final product. I'm going to continue grading using the suggesting mode. Okay. 
And then I'm going to, you can see where my cursor is, I'm going to come up with what that composite score is out of five. So I'm gonna leave him a number out of five. So the student would be able to see that I've just typed something there, but they did not see what I typed. So on my screen, it says a four and a half out of five, but on the student screen, it says nothing. Now I'm going to grade the assignment the exact same way, but this time I'm going to toggle over to editing mode. And you can see that in real time, the student will be able to see me just like class, just like the suggesting mode, highlight the text, but unlike the suggesting mode, they're going to have real-time access to the decision I just made based on the quality of their work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight another piece. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and come up with that composite grade. So again, even though that the student is in view only access of this document, the student is able to watch me in real time grade their assignment. And again, they were able to watch me do that when I was in the editing mode. They were not able to watch me do that when I was in the suggesting mode. Okay, so now the other piece of all of this is how does the student know you're even on the document and doing some grading? Well, it's a good reminder that everything in Google Classroom is also in Google Drive. And just like you have access to this document in Google Drive, so do they. So if they toggle over to their drive, under the quick access, let me just refresh this screen, they will see their recent activity. So what, what documents have had some recent activity? So front and center, here's that document edited today by Angela Wilson. So when they click that, they can go to this little I, I for information, view the details of the document, but more importantly, view the activity. So they can kind of look through the story of that document, all the activity that document has had recently. Um, so that might alert them if they're a watcher of activity in their Google Drive to you grading. Um, now, if toggling between the suggesting mode of editing and the editing mode of editing um, still isn't what you're looking for, there are some extreme measures you can take. It's a bit cumbersome, but in certain situations, it might be required. So we're back over here on the student's account. and. Again, they are in view only access of the document. If you don't want them to have access at all to this document, as the owner of the document, you in Google Classroom, um, there's a little button for you to like pop out the document to open it in its own tab, where you'll have access to that individual document's share feature. When you click share, you'll see all the um, partners of that document. So right now, I'm the teacher, I'm the owner of the document, and Robert Steele is a viewer. If I don't even want him to be able to view that document, I'm going to click where it says viewer and remove him from that document and then hit save. So what you're going to see here, there's a, two different things that can happen. If I don't refresh my screen and I click on the document, it's just going to tell Robert Steele that he needs to request access. The other way is if I do, as the student refresh the screen, now it's going to say there is no file found. So if this is your practice, you might want to alert your students to this practice so that they don't panic and think that their file is lost and you don't have access to their work. So if that is what I choose to do as a teacher, now I can grade without you know, any fear of students watching me process their work. And once I am done, I can add them back into the document. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit share. I'm gonna put the email back in. So technical error, hold on, there we go. Um, I'm gonna put 
him back in and I'm going to be careful to the default is editor. I'm going to be careful to put him back down to viewer status. There's also a checkbox where the student can be notified of the change in permissions. I'm going to uncheck that box one, save them an email and two, that allows me to let them know when the document is ready to be viewed on my terms, on my terms when I return that document. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back on the document as a viewer only. Okay, so now we're, we're looking at, right now it says drive file unknown. When I refresh the screen, the document will be back in view only access. Okay, so again, he can see that I'm on the document, but any kind of feedback that I provided using the suggesting mode is not visible, but the feedback I provided using the editing mode is accessible. There are no comments accessible regardless of editing mode. And once I return the document, then we become equal partners again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and return it to him. And once it's returned, let me refresh his view of this document. So again, look, view only no, has no comments. Um, I'm going to scroll down back to the rubric. So what will happen is that the comments are going to appear and um, the, the highlights for the top rubric are also going to appear. Okay, so you can see my original comment, the two comments that he provided, and then the access to the feedback. Again, the top rubric is the suggesting mode. And again, you can see every time I made a mark on the document using the suggesting mode, left three different comments for the student. Okay. Um, the highlights using the editing mode did not leave the comments. Now, as the teacher or the student, you can accept that suggest, suggestion to get rid of that comment and kind of clean it up. All right, so let's see. That is the majority of what I wanted to focus on you with, on with you, with you on. Um, the last piece is about grading with the Apple Pencil. So if I were to, um, grade this assignment using my iPad and using the Apple Pencil. Um, I am going to open it on my iPad. I am going to select the stylist icon in the top right corner. It's going to generate a PDF for both myself and the student. I'm going to select how I want to leave my feedback. And then I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna provide my feedback. I'm gonna hit save on the iPad. And what will happen for the student is underneath his Google document, a PDF is going to appear. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh his screen. And I'm not going to turn that in. I'm gonna, um, you'll see that he has immediate access to that feedback. So also something to be keeping in mind when you are grading longhand. And it's fantastic, um, but if you kind of want to hold back your information, it's, it's not a guarantee. 
All right, so I hope you have found this helpful and I'm more than happy to show you all of this live and work through all the very many scenarios that you get faced with as a teacher grading on a Google document. Thanks for watching.